So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing Bitwarden, which is a password program that you can use for uh, groups. So normally it's a paid program, but we're going to be using the Community Edition, which is really easy to set up on our local network. And so, but because it is the Community Edition, there has a few limitations, which we'll talk about further when we go along. As always, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and here we go now! Okay, so we're going to start by searching for Bitwarden, and so we're going to use the mpressal version. And it will be the first thing that comes up. So you can click on that and then click start. Once that's done, click close. And then we're going to click on that and we're going to go to the info page. And we need to scroll down a little bit for this. And so the basic data we need is right here. We need to make a data folder. And then uh, we're going to change this. So Bitwarden uh, is normally on 80, but our OMV server is on that. So we're going to change this to 82. So now let's go back. We're going to click on Bitwarden and run image. We're going to call this container Bitwarden. Restart policy always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode. We're going to go down here, click on 80. Then change that to 84 for us, but whatever port you have open. Click the plus sign. And then we're going to go down to here and hit the slash and hit data. And then next we're going to go to our network. And so this is our OMB, OMV base server. And then we're going to click on app data. We're going to create a new folder called Bitwarden. And then we're going to close that and then we're going to go to host path and go to shared folders and app data and bitwarden click ok hit the plus sign then we're going to go down to the bottom and click save and then we're going to wait a minute or two for this to get up and running before we log in okay so next we're going to copy our ip address and so once that's up and running, we actually have to change browsers. So basically Bitwarden, there is a bug, so it does not run in Chrome. So we're going to go to Internet Explorer. So we're going to go to our Microsoft Edge, whatever it's called now. We're going to paste that in. So now we're back to our server, but we're going to change that to colon 84. And then we're going to hit enter. And so first thing we need to do is create an account. So we're going to click create accounts. And so we're going to just add in an email address. And create a new user. And a password. And then a hint for our password. And then click submit. And so for this Docker, it does not have the email enabled. So you're going to click submit and then you're going to be able to log in. And so then we're going to put in our password and then log in. Okay, so now we're into the default uh, UI. And so we're going to do a couple things first. So first we're going to click on settings or actually the first thing we're going to click on is new organizations. And so here you can see it has different options uh, for free, family, teams, enterprise. Uh, so this edition is the community edition. So if you just leave it on free, you can create organizations. And so this you can do for your family or your uh, business. And do not click this is an uh, account owned by a business because then it will force you to pick a paid plan. Then click submit. And so now up here you can see we have an organization. So next if we go to add items, a couple of different things here. So it can add login information. It can add in sort of credit card information. Identity, so things like... Uh, 
your driver's license or passport information, things like that. And then uh, security. So basically this is if you want to write notes that you don't want anybody else to see, uh, but it will be here and there in the uh, vault. Next, if we go over here to people, we can add in people here. And so basically, uh, because again, this is the community edition and it doesn't have the email part uh, added into it, you have to add the user in and then it won't send a email to that user. So you just have to notify the user that to log in. Next, if we go over to tools, this is very important. So if you're already using a program, uh, you can use such as LastPass, or you can actually import your login information from Chrome, Firefox, KeePass, OnePass, or Dashlane, or many of these other ones down here. Uh, so you would just select whichever one it is, and then you know import the file here. Same thing, you can actually export the files also. And then finally, if we go over here to organizations, here you can see the organization that we made. Uh, and if we want to delete that organization, we would do there. If we click on billing and license, nothing really happens because it does not connect to the Bitwarden uh, website. And then two-step log, uh, no, login, I actually haven't checked yet, but there's various options for that. And then finally, there are apps available, but the apps, as far as I know, require that you have a Bitwarden uh, account on their server, so I could not get those to work. If you're able to get those works, please leave a comment down below or on the Open Media Vault uh, website. So basically, Bitwarden is a great password manager that we can use on our local network right now. And uh, as always, make sure you like and subscribe if you like this, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.